Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, hey, it's Lissy. And today, guys, we are going to be reacting to some of the most deadliest toys ever made and see what they're all about. Also, guys, if you guys are excited for today's video, be sure to smash a like and hit the subscribe button and put that bell notification on so you guys never miss a video. And before today's video starts, I do want to say I am wearing my new merch. It says Merry Christmas. It's super cute. I have it on my Teespring, so be sure to grab one for the holidays before it's too late. So we're going to be watching one of Staywise's videos about 15 scary toys that can kill. I'll have their channel and this video linked down below, so go check them out. All right, what is this first toy? A Sky Dancer. Oh, I've talked about these ones before. Sky Dancers are undoubtedly familiar to everyone who grew mm, I had, or thought I had one of these as a kid, and I knew a lot of kids at school that had these things. They would fly around and they would hit people in the face. These flying fairies seem to be more more menacing than they appear. Wait a second. They had a Spider-Man? I didn't even know they had boy versions of Sky Dancers because I just want to say most of them were like ballerinas and fairies. Like really cute ones, at least from what I remember. I'm surprised they had boy Sky Dancers. Place the doll on the base, pretend to start a push lawnmower, and there you have it. You've thrown a spinning propeller a into the ones. air, which will fly in unpredictable directions. Yes. Yes, it fired Very off in random directions, and it was effortless for it to launch into people's faces. Oh. Exit. Okay, did you guys see that launch? That thing like zoomed. Okay, that is definitely. I could see that hitting eyeballs and making a lot of kids, you know, probably plot revenge on one of each other at recess time and stuff, just like firing them at each other. That would be bad. Galoob Toys Inc. banned these playthings for good reason. After 150 <laughs> reports of eye injuries. <laughs> Damaged corneas. That's not funny. Why am I teeth, laughing? That's really bad. Facial lacerations and even a slight concussion. A concussion? Hold up. They had a concussion from a sky dancer? Well, that's why they got banned. Oh my goodness. Until you hear about the snack time cabbage patch kids. Cabbage kid patch kids. I've talked about these. Moving on to number 14 Splash Off Water Rockets. Never heard of this. On the one hand, the Splash Off Water Rocket was not that a bad looks toy fun. if you were trying to depict the dangers of science realistically. On the other Ooh. hand, it was a wrong choice if you didn't want to learn a painful lesson about overpressurizing plastic containers and products made by the lowest bidder. Oh, the toy wasn't no, always not end using good. high quality materials, and the plastic would occasionally rupture. It would hit the kids playing with the toy and will end a fun time. I mean, they look really fun. I want to go out there and shoot water rockets into the sky, but I could definitely see where those things could be pretty heavy if they had like a lot of water in them and they could smash into someone's face. Yeah, I could see the danger there. Number 13, Aqua Leisure Baby Boat. A baby boat? It's a terrible scenario. You How put could a that kid be dangerous? in a pool float to keep them safe only for them to vanish into the water. What? These inflated water toys failed to achieve the one thing they were designed to accomplish. That is so bad. Afloat. The shoddy plastic material would often rip and oh. babies would plop right into the water. Those poor little babies. Just imagine you're trying to have a swim time as a child. Like, how did they have one job to create like a baby water float and fail that one job? That doesn't even make sense. Like, how could they fail that bad? Although it later came to light that Aqua Leisure knew about the problem, the they company knew? did not recall the product until at least 30 drowning deaths. <laughs> I'm trying to process that. So they knew about the problem and they're like, okay, it's fine. And then finally when 30 babies died, they're like, okay, we'll recall it. That is horrible. The company behind them got into great trouble. Yep. Sounds horrible, but wait for the toy that can bite your fingers off. That was scary. <laughs> Number 12, Super Blast Balls. Did Super you ever have a pair balls. of these? Super paying blast balls do exactly what they sound like. They make thunderous noises. What? How do they work? They're two colorful balls that kids could smack together to hear a <laughs> I'm sorry, but wait, they're two colorful balls that kids could smack together. All right, let's continue on. <laughs> Jump out of your skin noise and occasionally see some sparks and that's it. What? Now as riveting as that may sound, they were only on the market for a short time before- Okay, but what are they made out of? If they're making like sparks and stuff and they make loud sounds, like that is super weird. I've never heard about these. First complaints of burn injuries and clothes catching fire Oof. arose. That's a not toy good. that allows children to fire caps from their hands? It's no surprise it was banned. That definitely sounds pretty dangerous. Um, yep, not gonna play with that one. Number 11, Belt Buckle Derringer Toy Gun. 
<sighs> okay, I always noticed like how back in the days like gun toys were more acceptable, but now they would definitely not fly. I remember also when I was younger, I would go to like gift shops. I remember specifically, it was like South Dakota, like by Mount Rushmore. They always sold like fake guns, but like, come on, a belt buckle toy gun? That is not good for kids. Every little boy's Christmas list in 1959 included this toy. That's bad. It did, however, pack a punch in the gut. This belt buckle gun would shoot a toy bullet and a cap when the user extends his stomach when worn around the waist. What? No, it didn't fire shots, nor were objects projected, but a flame was, and you guessed it, the cap could catch fire. That is so dangerous! Okay, I don't know what they were thinking there. Like, obviously kids are not gonna be mature, especially little boys with like a little tiny toy gun belt. Like, there's just so much wrong with this. Unfortunately for wannabe cowboys, the caps could be set off accidentally by friction and cause severe burns. Ouch. This is definitely not something you want around your nether mm -mm. regions. Every easy bake, oh yeah. dreamed of having an easy bake oven. I dreamed of my moment when I was a kid that I could have an easy bake oven and um, it never happened. I was super sad about it. So I went to my neighbor's house and then I played with hers and I probably broke it. Yeah, you know. Who doesn't want to bake cookies and cakes on their own in their tiny oven? Tiny One of the so most fun. significant dangers of owning an Easy Bake was that it became hot enough that children may and did injure themselves in these ovens, hot. which resulted in severe burns. This is clearly a tragedy waiting to happen, mainly because the ovens might reach temperatures of up to 200 degrees Celsius. Yeah, I could imagine a 200 degree possible baby oven would not be a good idea, especially for children, especially because a lot of them are not mature enough to even bake a cake or do any of that. But the idea and concept behind easy bake ovens was pretty cool, not gonna lie. There were approximately 250 incidences reported. That's a lot of With children suffering from second and third degree burns in 16 Ouch. of them. One five-year-old had to have a part of her finger removed. Oh, what? Number nine, That's CSI crazy. fingerprint examiner. What is While this? it's a little disturbing to see youngsters playing with toy forensic investigation kits designed to simulate. Okay, but I just want to pause the video because do you guys remember when like you would have like scholastic book fairs in your school? Am I the only one who used to love scholastic book fair kits? I feel like this would be like one of those. You know what I'm saying? Evidence in a murder scene. It's all in good fun. The all toy was inspired fun, by the CBS show CSI. Mm. The gadget allowed children to collect evidence while wearing latex gloves. Dusting for fingerprints was one of the more fun parts. However, the dust That's had weird. a little more than non-toxic substances. Ooh. It contained one of the deadliest forms of asbestos. The powder contained 7% asbestos, which can cause lung cancer later in life if one is exposed to it what? even once. That's the dangerous. Ended up going bankrupt due to this significant error. Not just a significant error. That is a huge error. Just saying, like that could go very wrong. Imagine attempting to create a genuinely safe toy and failing miserably. Wait, I had these yo-yo water balls. Like I would win these at the arcade all the time. I had plenty of these. There's no way. Like I don't know how this one is dangerous. I'm very curious. Yo-yo water ball is that. How can something like a toy be dangerous? How? After all, it's soft. Not only did yo-yo water balls contain questionable materials, but their design was potentially dangerous. How? According to Little Things, it used flammable diesel hydrocarbons to make it. Like there have in been the over 400 cases of near strangulation reported with the use what? of the yo-yo ball. How could somebody almost strangle themselves with like a little plastic toy yo-yo ball unless they willingly are like wrapping it around their neck? Like its cord was getting wrapped around the necks of kids. Yeah, it's and the in kids some fault. cases causing them to black out. What? The cord material was somewhat sticky to make matters worse, making it difficult to release if it did get around the neck. It wasn't that sticky. Do you remember wanting or even owning one of these? Lucky you. Number seven, dive sticks. Dive the idea sticks. behind the diving sticks was to toss them into the pool, let them sink, and then have the <gasps> kids go in and collect them. Oh my gosh, I used to have, well, I had a lot of dive, like, fishies and different toys. I remember I used to use, like, pebbles when I used to, like, do diving games and stuff like that, but I did have dive sticks. The only thing that I think could be dangerous about these is the factor that you're willingly going to get it, and you can't get to the surface in time. But that's on the kid, not the dive stick. These weren't just entertaining for the youngsters, but they also gave parents a few moments of peace as their kids spent more time beneath the water collecting them. And potentially How could something drowning. As <laughs> harmless as a weighted stick be so dangerous? 
The trouble started with him materials from which it was made. Really? Some of the products were made from hard plastic, which would stand up when they sink to the bottom of the pool. Huh. There were recalls in 1999 because kids supposedly got impaled and even had to have surgery for their injuries. What? Speaking of injuries, the number one toy in this video is pretty horrible too. So, I don't understand like how they were getting the injuries. Like, okay, they were diving for a dive stick, it's made out of something bad. I don't understand. Number six, candy cigarettes. Oh, these were weird. If you were these a were child bad. donor before the 60s and That's early not really 70s, a toy. you might remember having plenty of access to these guys and were made of either chalky sugar, bubblegum, or chocolate. Some okay, even... but I heard that they taste nasty, okay? They don't even taste good. And the whole idea of it is just bad that they wanted to make a candy that resembled like, hey, smoking is cool. It's not cool. Don't smoke, kids, all right? It's not good for you. It had powdered sugar at the tip so that you could blow through the candy stick and make it look like it was smoke. That's so stupid. You can probably already see the problem with these. I can the more than see the problem. The was used on the candy packets, the perfect way for kids to mirror exactly what the grown-ups were doing. That's so bad. <sighs> Number five, innocent looking but secretly evil Teletubby. <gasps> Teletubbies, oh my gosh. Don't get me started about Teletubbies. As a kid, I don't know why, but I liked the Teletubbies when I was very little, but now they definitely freak me out, especially the baby son. It's all based on the character from the children's television show Teletubbies. And what could be safer than a Teletubby? <laughs> Though Everything. this talking podol never injured the child physically, it was removed from the shelves in 1998, the same year it was released. Okay, nope. I just want to pause the video. That is horrifying. Like, imagine you wake up at 3 a.m. and that's the first thing you see. That glaring soul of a Teletubby. Okay, I don't know what's dangerous about it, but that thing is creepy. Suspected an adorable Teletubby toy of speaking a questionable language. Parents weren't too happy to learn what their child's doll was teaching them. What? They heard the doll say inappropriate things, including, bite my butt, and other phrases. <laughs> bite my butt? Okay, I don't know who thought or what happened. Maybe like one of the workers like did those things where like they make it say like something, but it sounds like something else. I'm guessing that's what it was, but that's really bad. Unsuitable for children. Not a toy you'd want to get for your kid, right? Nope. Number four, fidget spinner. <gasps> Have you managed spinners. to get your hands on a fidget spinner? Okay, remember a few years ago when everybody cared about fidget spinners? It's kind of like trends come and go, but fidget spinners always annoyed me for some reason. Like, I never got into them. I never cared for them, but like, I would go everywhere. I would go to like a Walmart, a Target, even like probably Disneyland. I was in Hawaii and they had fidget spinners, like Hawaiian fidget spinners. Like, they were just so stupid. The brightly colored device, which can be spun, flipped, and even tossed with one hand, How fun. has started making its way into classrooms around the country. They got banned in a if lot of classrooms. If you've not heard of them, fidget spinners are little handheld gadgets, initially designed to help children with autism and ADHD concentrate at school. What's well, a good The idea good behind point. them is that as children spin and flip them, they can focus more clearly on the words they're hearing and the lesson they're in. I never Many schools that. have fought back against the gadgets. Some say are distracting and potentially harmful. The dangers of fidget spinners aren't just limited to annoying teachers and frustrating parents. They are annoying. Parents have reported chipped teeth, cuts, bruises, and damaged property. Really? Not to forget the trend of duct taping razor blades to the spinner spokes. A clear a razor blades on a fidget spin. Okay, that would be bad. That would be like a real life ninja star, honestly. So. I bet there was kids that did some bad stuff with the fidget spinners, all right. They were banned at my school. Number three, Aqua Dots. <gasps> aqua Dots! Mm -hmm. I loved Aqua Dots as a kid, and I remember talking about these. They have chemicals that are bad in them, but they were so fun. I loved them. Tiny beads, spritz them with water, and your design will fuse together. Sounds I fun, miss right? Them. One of 2007's more popular toys, Aqua Dots, were small, colorful beads arranged into different designs it was and so then permanently fun and set with water sprinklers. The water activated a glue in the beads covering, fusing them together. Although the beads appeared harmless, complaints quickly emerged of toddlers vomiting and collapsing into comas after That's ingesting so, them. so bad. Now what's the reason behind this? Because scientists discovered that the glue included ingredients that converted into the date rape drug, gamma hydroxybutyrate. <gasps> that was a good idea like out of all the ingredients i'm sure that they could have found like a second hand ingredient at the time even that was not you know that specific ingredient i think they like i said they did make a remake of aqua dots and i think they're called beatos or something like that and they're back in the store i saw them in target the other day but the original aqua dots not good i remember i got so sad when they got recalled that as a kid great 
Some unlucky children suffered seizures, with two of them in the U.S. slipping into comas due to eating the beads. That's so sad. Number two, lawn darts. Lawn it darts. doesn't take much imagination to see why steel missiles with weighted skewers could make for a dangerous they toy. They never went well. What could well. possibly go wrong with heavy Everything. metal darts with a very sharp tip at the end? Lawn darts or jarts or giant jarts. plastic darts with weighted and sharpened metal tips. I remember I used to have PE class and we did like a section on darts. And I think some kids to be mean, like the bullies would take darts and they'd be like, oops, and they would like throw it at each other. So I can see where these went very, very wrong, especially as a toy for kids. Kids just shouldn't have darts in their hands. Kids were supposed to throw into plastic hoops on the lawn, a sort of hybrid between darts and horseshoes. The darts are meant to be grasped by the rod and launched underhand towards the target but they can cause skull punctures and other serious injuries. Skull punctures? If you think that sounds dangerous, the U.S. government agrees with you. They were banned in the U.S. after 6,100 people were sent to the emergency room for the injuries they caused. 6,100 people were hurt by lawn darts? That's crazy. I mean, normal darts. I feel like that's the one I used at school was normal darts. But still, that's a lot of people. No wonder why they got banned in the USA. It didn't take much time before the dark side of lawn darts reared its ugly, pierced head. Yep. Now we move on to the moment you've all been waiting for. Number one, snack time, cabbage snack patch kid. Snack time, cabbage patch kid. games until someone loses a finger. Wait, what? The cabbage patch kids were huge in the 80s that came with their own adoption certificates and famously squishy body. Okay, I just hate what Cabbage Patch dolls look like, especially because we've covered them before. And remember that little garden that the Cabbage Patch like dolls actually grow out of? There we go. Look at them. Look at them. Look at them. Look at them. Basically, as you guys can see here, there's a garden with like little lettuce things and cabbage kids that grow and like you get to pick your own. Everything about Cabbage Patch Kids creeps me out, but specifically that and this. The Snack Time Kid had a motorized mouth that lunched down food. on plastic goodies fed to it. Unfortunately, the doll couldn't differentiate between plastic and human. Uh, it didn't so take gross. long for little fingers to get caught up in the action. Another victim of this ever hungry doll was hair. Also, there was no way to turn it. If it was hair, I would be in doomed. That thing would eat my hair alive. Kind of like a ticket eater at the arcade. I've always been scared of those two. Once something got into the snack time kit, it was going to keep going. This real life garbage pail kid nightmare was eventually pulled from the shelves once enough lawsuits made it clear so that it had an insatiable and unsafe craving for the flesh of children. Well guys, that was quite the video about scary deadly banned toys. I could see why they were banned honestly and if you guys agree that those toys were scary, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think is the most dangerous toy that I covered in today's video. Anyways guys, that's gonna do it for today's reaction video. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys would like to see me react to next time. It's been Lissy. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Be sure to drop a like and hit the subscribe button if you guys have not and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys! Bye.